Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 2nd December 2021 and we've got the Bexley by-election today. If you don't know what a by-election is, you're from another country, it's uh, where an MP is elected uh, in a particular, in just one constituency as opposed to a general election when they're all re-elected or elected. And it's normally because they've, uh, I don't know, been sacked or resigned, or in this case, I think the last guy passed away, and they have to have a, another election just in that constituency to elect the new MP. So that's what's happening in the uh, uh, in Bexley today, which is kind of uh, southeast London, sort of North Kent area, if I remember correctly, and. It's a very, very true blue seat, staunch conservative uh, area. And it's going to be quite interesting because there are one or two challengers in there now. You've got a fair bit of credibility. And I think the conservatives will probably hold the seat. It would be fantastic if they were voted out of there. And uh, someone like... Uh, you know, well, well, not Labour, but one of the uh, more minor ones came in. So that would be a great result. Uh, but even a vastly reduced Conservative majority would be great there because it would really send a, a shocking signal to the government and it might convince them to play a little bit more nicely in future. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We won't know the result until tomorrow, but I'll no doubt be talking about it again there. But going on to the main topic of discussion at the moment, which is we're, now we're two or three days into uh, the whole sort of reintroduction of muzzleage here in England. And kind of from the, what I've seen myself and general feedback... I'm getting from comments under my videos and also comments I see under other people's videos and in kind of telegram groups that I'm in, et cetera, et cetera. I've probably seen reports from about 100 people now um, who have kind of reported on this. So uh, I'm probably in a quite a good position to report. And it just seems to be everything from 100% muzzleage in some places or near 100% with just uh, maybe a couple of people uh, without wearing the things in shops, all the way down to sort of 50-50 uh, or even a slight majority of non-muzzlers, uh, you know, maybe sort of 30-40% muzzled and uh, the rest unmuzzled. So it's quite a wide um, spectrum, but I'd say probably on average it's sort of 80% um, muzzleage, muzzleage and kind of uh, sort of 20% not. And okay, I think it depends on the time of day that you go, the demographics of the area and um, sort of a number of other factors. But I'd say probably on average it's 20% who are not complying. And again... Certainly supermarkets and garden centres and things like that. Um, it was probably 80, 70 or 80 percent muzzleage before uh, hand as well, because I, you know when I went into those places, it seemed that the majority of people still wore them even though you didn't have to. So whether anything's changed, I don't know. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. When I'm on the, uh, I'm going on a uh, train on Saturday, and I was on one only um, about sort of two or three weeks ago. Well, two weeks ago, and back then on the train up to London, it was probably fifty-fifty, maybe sixty percent unmuzzled. So I'll, and I'm going on the same train, same route. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens there. I think that'll be the acid test. Uh, but that is the general consensus. And you might be sort of thinking, oh, you know, 20% uh, 
is you know only 20 percent kind of um who aren't sort of uh, muzzled up that's bad news but i'm kind of a half a glass half full kind of guy and i'm going to say that that 20 percent is 20 percent better than this time last year or or even sort of uh six eight nine months ago uh because when you went into the shops then in those days it was sort of a hundred percent apart from uh me and uh, maybe the very very rare other person like me but i remember going to this garden center about this time last year just over a year ago and it was a hundred percent compliance so things are moving in the right direction and I think we need to take heart from that. And as I said to someone in a uh, Telegram chat uh, last night, uh, you can bet your life that, yeah, that 20% are the, the brave people. Uh, but you've probably got at least another 40% on top of that 20%, if not even more, who are kind of, they'd love to. Uh, have the balls that we've got but they just want an easy life no con confrontation an easy life and no kind of fear of getting any kind of fines or anything so uh, they're kind of muzzling up but only under duress as it were so I've got a strong feeling there's a big percentage of people out there who are going along with it I wish they wouldn't go along with it to be honest with you because as the old saying goes, or the rapidly sort of uh, getting old saying goes, you can't comply your way out of tyranny. So it would be nice and um, if those people did unmuzzle, and they might do in, uh, in, in weeks to come. I mean, people like us, us in our kind of 20% or whatever it is, uh, we have to be the trailblazers. You know, we have to stand strong. We have to keep going into all these uh, shops and what have you um, without those on. And I've heard one or two people saying in, in my comments that uh, uh, as soon as they've other people sort of with the things on have seen that person, uh, they've taken them off. So we are the trailblazers or as one person put it i don't know if it again if it was in one of my comments um or the comments under one of my videos or someone else's but the kind of the point they made is the people uh people like us we're really in the officer class now uh or the leadership class and you might not think of yourself as a leader. I certainly don't. Uh, I'm certainly not a follower, but I wouldn't say I'm a, a leader either. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we are becoming. We are the leaders of this, and we have to sort of lead by example. And if people out there, out and about, see this sort of strong, determined group of people... Uh, unmuzzled sort of uh sort of going around into shops without a care in the world well that's going to get them thinking hmm you know if they can get away with it maybe i can as well and then hopefully despite the nonsense um sort of uh thing that came in a couple of days ago hopefully more and more people will still start uh sort of on their journey of non-compliance as well so even if you're kind of in despair because where you are, it's pretty much 100% muzzleage or a very high percentage of muzzleage, uh, I think you can still take heart and you can certainly hold your head up high and go into these places knowing that you're, you are uh, leading a just cause um, knowing that you're on the right side of history and leading by example. So, with that, I'll uh, sort of go. I've got a, uh, another job to get on with now. 
and I'll be probably back later on. So Tim from Fairplay Now, thanks for watching.